Oh, oh, oh. It is day one of applying aloe vera gel in our hair for seven days straight. Yes, every single day. Today, I'm gonna be applying aloe vera. But don't forget to like this video and let me show you the routine that we're gonna follow for the next seven days. Let me just put you here. Step one, I love you. Step two, detangle your hair from the bottom to the top using a wide tooth comb. Step three, split hair in two sections and then proceed to damp your hair with some water to make application a little bit more easy. Trust me. <laughs> Step four, be ready for one of the most challenging hair treatment applications ever. So something that it make this less messy was to have the aloe gel in a large bowl like this one and every single application I would place the bowl just right under my hair so that if some gel drips most of the time will go into the bowl instead of the floor and counters Here's the entire aloe vera thing well, I said most of the time, not all the time. Now, using your white tooth comb or your hands, you're gonna scoop some of the gel like this and with tons of confidence, bring the gel towards your roots Whoa. and from there, you're just gonna soak your hair first and then your scalp as last in aloe vera gel. Ooh. Once you feel like you have covered... Okay, I can't hear your entire hair and scalp in aloe vera gel you don't need to soak your hair this is fun and you're probably wondering is she cold yes, proceed to step five which is wrapping your hair around your head in this way and then we're gonna cover our hair with the double cover method which consists in covering your head with a plastic bag first and then with a microfiber or a t-shirt as last to lock the heat while we wait for an hour for our hair to absorb all the aloe vera completely one hour later It's so hot. I have no aloe vera. Nothing. When time is up, you're gonna rinse the aloe vera gel using only water. You gotta be kidding me. Yes, I'm talking to you. And as a final step, allow your hair to air dry completely and then repeat the same steps tomorrow. No one wants this stuff. It's gonna get dark in a few minutes. Who am I? <laughs> I'm gonna start the application right now. Oh, oh. So the first thing that I noticed hey. as soon as I woke up no! is how silky my hair is at this moment. What was that? Every single hair feels extremely moisturized. Definitely takes some time to get used to the um, texture of the aloe vera in your hair and your skin. So if you're like, Ugh. don't stand those kind of like textures, it's a little bit uncomfortable to deal with. Good. This is how my hair looks today. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is only day three? Whoa. That's amazing. Hair just feels like it got a super deep conditioning treatment last night. I definitely think that aloe vera is one of those treatments that you, my friend, really need for deep moisturizing and nourishing hair and scalp at the same time. Alright, I'm just gonna do a hair rub with the aloe. And no, you don't need anything. You just need tons of, tons of aloe vera juice. Look at this. <laughs> to achieve this look. Sick. After an hour, I'll be washing my hair with cold water. You guys know. It's not the hair, it's the scalp. It has like wet, all hair smell vibes. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens when my hair dries. It smells like very neutral. I don't know. It doesn't have any smell. Hi guys, we are on day four. There is aloe vera. Will they grow? 
about to on places in this bathroom that I didn't know they exist so so far one of the biggest difference that I've seen in my hair is how shiny it is at this moment this is dope no, it's not. I'm also super excited to see that aloe vera has kept my scalp super clean it looks very healthy oh my I don't have any dandruff. Are you asking if I'm cold? Yes, but I'm still gonna wash my hair with cool water. I'll just do that and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. What is this? This is not aloe vera. This is just dust from my house. This is how my hair looks today. Hair is so easy to detangle. It's insane. I love how you know, it has some... When I put that much aloe vera, I thought that it would be like incredibly difficult to wash it off. So nasty. But in fact, it is so easy. The gel definitely is more messy to apply. It's my eye. However, the gel does not leave you the white residue. No, that's... <laughs> my hair, my fed, my phone. <laughs> what? Back of my head right now. Oh, oh my goodness. We are on day six. Yeah. I found a secret. I am wearing snow boots. <laughs> I was reading that aloe vera has the power to retain water. Wow. And hydration or moisture in your hair. And I can totally see that because my hair hasn't gotten any dry at all. Uh, yeah. Even my ends. Yeah, they're soft. Press it against your hair, and boom, now you got a hairstyle. And then after that, I'm gonna get super warm, you know, you know. Oh my. So hopefully you'll stick around, and I'll see you tomorrow, bye. I have become a giant aloe vera plant. We are on day seven. I get to properly shower today. So far, this is how this is looking. Not so bad. My hair throughout this entire week never felt dry, never felt like greasy, hey. dirty or anything like that. It always felt very clean. And for my hair to feel this soft and this moisturized to this point, that says a lot about aloe vera. Am I right? I don't think so. The other thing that we need to point out is the scalp. Why? You know, my scalp feels very cleaned. It hasn't developed any dandruff. And I don't see any dryness either in the scalp, even though we're washing our scalp every single day. We. Me. <laughs> Put my microfiber towel and it actually looks good. I am so proud of myself. All the other times there are just complete fails, but today, boy. One hour. Can I do this? See you tomorrow. When I started this challenge on day one, I measured my hair to see if aloe vera can promote hair growth in only seven days. So before the challenge, my hair length was at 29 inches long, and according to our results, hair grew half an inch long afterwards. Now, in terms of hair improvement during this entire time, my hair from roots to ends always felt very soft, deep moisturized, insanely shiny, and hair was super easy to detangle. Basically felt like I was literally applying a deep conditioner hair treatment every single day, which makes me think that this could be very beneficial for anyone with super dry, brittle, or dehydrated hair. However, I was expecting that aloe vera will make my hair texture a little bit more thick after all those days of application. Unfortunately, I didn't see any change in this aspect, but in general, as long as you're not allergic to aloe vera and you apply it in summertime, I think aloe vera is pretty safe to be used overnight for seven days straight or even twice a week if you want to let me show you how to make this seven day aloe vera hair treatment all i want you to remember is that we're gonna make and apply fresh aloe vera gel every single day which means we're only gonna make enough aloe gel for each application you decide how much aloe vera you want to apply we need to make sure that the aloe treatment that we use on our hair and scalp does not contain any latex in it to avoid any potential scalp or skin irritations during these seven days to drain the 
latex from the gel, all you're gonna do is to remove the spiky size of one aloe leaf. Then you're gonna cut the entire leaf in medium pieces like this. Now you're gonna soak these pieces in water for 30 minutes, which will allow the latex to drain out of the leaf. After the latex has drained completely, we're gonna make aloe vera gel. So begin by cutting in half all the aloe pieces and then with a spoon, instead of scooping the gel, we are gonna simply scrape the entire gel from the leaf in this way. Once you are done scraping the gel from the leaf, as an option, you can add two capsules of vitamin E into the mixture and this is how your aloe treatment should look like. So make sure to share some love to this girl by subscribing to this channel right here. I love you, every single one of you. See you next time. Pura vida.